Good morning. Ready for day two of our epic story, The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot? Well, if not, I'm doing it anyway. So here we go. Madame Sostris, famous clairvoyant, had a bad cold. Nevertheless, is known to be the wisest woman in Europe. With a wicked pack of cards. Here, said she, is your card. The drowned Phoenician sailor. Those are pearls that were his eyes. Look. Here is Belladonna, the lady of the rocks, the lady of situations. Here is the man with three staves, and here the wheel, and here is the one-eyed merchant and his card, which is blank, which is something he carries on his back, for which I am forbidden to see. I do not find the hanged man, fear death by water. I see crowds of people walking around in a ring. Thank you if you see dear Miss Equitine. Tell her I bring horoscope myself. One must be so careful these days. Unreal City. Under the brown fog of a winter dawn, a crowd flowed over the London Bridge. So many. I had not thought death had undone so many. Sighs, short and infrequent, were exhaled, and each man fixed his eyes before his feet. Flowed up the hill and down King William Street, to where St. Mary Woolnut kept the hours, with a dead sound on the final stroke of nine. There I saw one I knew, and stopped him crying, Stetson, you were who, who were with me on in the ships of Malay. That corpse you planted last year in your garden, has it begun to sprout? Will it bloom this year, or has the sudden frost disturbed its bed? Oh, keep the dog far hence, that's friend to men. Or with his nails he'll dig it up again. You hypocrite lecture, mon semblant, mon frère. That's it for part two. Come back again tomorrow for part three. I'll see you then.